Hello everyone, Lee here. Um, now you may um, watch a recent video of mine condemning public sector cuts um, here and across the world. And we've just had the recent news from the ONS that the economy has only grown by 0.2%. Now, George Osborne says, well, this is a good thing because the economy is still growing, unemployment is falling. Yeah, unemployment is technically falling, but the amount of people on job seekers allowance is also rising as well. So there's still people, a lot of unemployed people there, so it kind of balances it out. Um, my point in this is that since this coalition come in, we've seen um, growth of 0.5%. Minus 0.5 oh, but that was because of snow though, so that's, you know, that's not the government's fault at all. And now we've seen growth of 0.2%. Now, when Labour left office, after their last budget in March, um, the last budget that Alistair Darling put forward, the economy was growing by 1.1%. Now, people are arguing that, well, that was a false growth because... He was spending more. He was just spending money we didn't have. It it was a false growth. Possibly, yes. But my point is that these policies that the coalition are implementing clearly aren't working. Now, they've said, oh, this will be a slow, bumpy road to the economy. You know, to, it'll be a slow, bumpy road to recovery. You know, it's not always going to be great growth, but we're still going to grow just gradually. Now, considering the figures by the end of this year, Office of Budget Responsibility said it would be 2.3% growth, and now I've had to revise down the figure to 1.3% growth. It just, you could just see what's going to happen here. It's just obvious. We're slowly creeping towards recession again. I said it before in my previous videos, and now the fact that the economy has slowed its rate rate of growth from 0.5 to 0.2 so really it's not growing at all it's barely growing it's just about in positive growth and it just seems that you know the coalition is so fixed on one strategy all they're doing is cutting the deficit not promoting growth not focusing on areas where they can grow they just allow they so say well the private sector will just grow you know we, we just expect them to rather than aiding them in that so my point is that their policies are not working. It's clear to see that everyone can see that. You know, a lot of people say, yeah, but we had such a big debt that we were going to always grow slowly. Well, no, actually, if we'd pursued a sensible policy of maybe halving the deficit in four years, I genuinely think we would be growing at a decent rate. I mean, we were coming out of recession and we were growing quite well um, after Alistair Darling's budget after his last budget so actually Labour were on course to do the right things they made mistakes and I'm a big critic of Labour hence why I voted Lib Dems but their last budget actually showed we were growing our economy was growing quite substantially because of the measures they took to help people now you know they blamed four different things on this um, North uh, C maintenance, the fact that there's been maintenance and there's been less oil production that somehow stifled our growth um, the Royal Wedding which was meant to generate growth oh but suddenly it's cost us too much money so you know that's a factor in it as well the warm weather in April I'm not joking they're blaming the warm weather in April now British weather is always very unpredictable and we've always had really bizarre weather so this is not, you know, you can't say because we had unusually warm weather, that means our economy wasn't growing because people were spending less on ta on gas and, you know, electricity. Well, but they were, you know, they were probably going out more, maybe going to pubs more and sitting in beer gardens and buying, you know, alcohol. And stuff. So, you know, they were going, people were going out more. Or they were going away holiday to see Cyber Resort and actually, you know, hotels across Britain probably done really well over April. So, but also, yeah, the bank holiday as well, that costs a lot of money. But we have, we've had bank holidays for years. So I don't get why an extra bank holiday is suddenly going to, you know, 
suddenly make the economy even worse. It just shows how desperate they are to, you know, to pr to try and prove that this isn't their fault. It's been over a year. You can't keep blaming the previous government's debts. Okay. Initially, maybe you could, because it's a long. But no, it's still their fault. It's still their fault, and it isn't. The cuts are are, are actually taking effect now. They have this year. They've said it'll be a difficult year. It's been more than a difficult year. By my reckoning, it seems as if we're going to go into a recession. It seems that way because the way, the way our economy is growing is slowing and slowing and slowing. And eventually it seems... And, you know, they can't keep blaming. In fact, a royal wedding was actually probably meant to generate a lot of wealth. The fact that they've blamed that is quite absurd. So, I mean, watch this space because... You know, by the end of the five-year parliament, maybe the economy will grow. Substantially, maybe we'll have to go through a difficult period, and their policies would have been right. Maybe I'm overstepping the market. Maybe I'm just looking at the negative things. Maybe I am. I don't know. But what I will say is, the the rate the economy has slowed is actually increased. The fact that the growth has like yeah our economy's grown like that then it's kind of going down a bit at the rate it's growing it's still in positive growth but the rate it's go the rate at which it's grown is slowing and slowing and I'm sorry we've had a year of massive public spectacle public sector cuts you can't say that hasn't had an effect you just can't so if by the end of the year we have negative growth and we have three quarters of negative growth then we'll be officially back in recession. That's the way I see things going, unless they stimulate the economy. I mean, the Chancellor is already having to borrow more money than we've ever borrowed, um, be, you know, to try and, you know, keep the economy afloat. So he, because of his own spending cuts, he's had to inject more money into the economy to try and stimulate growth. And there's talk of quantitative easing, printing money we don't have. And this downturn, it's just, you know, we were just getting out of the session, the coalition came in, and now it's not looking good. But yeah, I'll keep updated on this, when ONS keep producing figures. But yeah, my point was with this video that they're not taking responsibility, that it's, it's clearly been proven their policies are not working. And the fact they're going to blame you know, warm weather and the royal wedding for the economy not growing is frankly quite absurd. So I think they should take responsibility. I want them to make the right decisions. I don't want this government to fail. I mean, I don't like the Tories being in power, but if they made the right decisions, any government that made the right decisions and was proven to, I'll hold my hands up and go, fair enough. But clearly, the effects of the cuts are really showing here. You know, you can see that. We can all see that. It's not... You can't keep bl blaming Labour forever. Yes, we had a big budget deficit. But, you know, you can't keep blaming that. The cuts are taking effect. People's living standards are being squeezed by the rise in VAT and pay freezes. If prices rise and people's wages stay the same, then clearly there's a demand problem there. Because people aren't willing to go out and spend as much. Because prices are rising, but... Their wages are not, so the value of their money, the value of what they've got, is worthless. It's not worthless, but it's not as good. So they're going to spend less money. That's basic supply and demand economics. So, yeah, the, it, like I said, the coalition are just really being stubborn here. It's so annoying. I want them to make the right decisions, just for the sake of this country. I'm really worried. Like I said, watch this space. You know, I would because it could get very interesting. I mean, if we end up growing a lot, I'll hold my hands up and say fair enough. If after this year we're still in positive growth and, you know, we slowly grow and grow more over the next few years because of the coalition policies, then fair enough, I'll hold my hands up. But it's not looking good. So, yeah, that's my view on the economic, um, on the economic situation i'll provide the statistics for the 0.2 percent uh, growth I'll, prov I'll i'll link 
I'll send a link to the ONS website so you can see this for yourself. And actually the ONS blame these factors that I mentioned. So yeah, thank you for watching. If you want to debate on this, I'm open to debate. So yeah, um, thank, like I said, thank you for watching. And I'll hopefully post another video soon when the next major political story comes up. So thanks for listening. Bye.